A cerebral angiogram is a procedure where we put a very small uh, flexible catheter, which is about the width of a spaghetti, uh, and also very uh, flexible like a spaghetti. And we typically uh, go into the femoral artery in the leg because it's a relatively big, safe artery to use. The patient is typically sleeping for this. Uh, all pediatric patients, young pediatric patients are sleeping. Once, uh, older, once they get to be older teenagers or adults, they do have the option of just having conscious sedation and we make a tiny incision in the leg, in the groin area, and we put the catheter into the femoral artery, and it then comes up the aorta, which is the big main artery in the abdomen and thorax, and the catheter is guided under image guidance up into the various blood vessels that feed the brain, uh, typically the two carotid arteries in the front, and there are two vertebral arteries in the back that feed the brain stem. And we guide the catheter under image guidance using soft wires and things like that, until we're in each vessel and we then inject the dye which is called contrast that shows up on the x-ray pictures we take. We take a series of very rapid x-ray pictures and we watch the dye flow from the arteries into the brain tissue itself and then into the veins and we can look at disease that affects any of those three components either the arteries or the brain tissue itself or the veins and we look for abnormalities of flow, abnormalities of structure and things like that.